By golly, there's a field of wheat. Fifty bushels to the acre, if I'm any judge. And by a cracky, I ought to know. Been threshing and combining all over this wheat country since I was a young shaver. So you're an old-time combine man, are you? You said it, mister. Why, what I don't know about combines, you can stick in your eye. And let me tell you something, mister. Farmer Brown's old combine isn't going to get all the wheat in these heads. Uh, it ain't possible. Uh-huh. But this year, Farmer Brown is going to get all his grain. He's got the latest type of combine. And there it comes now. Uh, where? Uh, what do you mean, the latest type? Well, blast my eyes. That is a new combine, and it's a beauty, all streamlined. Say, mister, uh, who makes that machine? Old-timer, you're looking at the last word in combines, the prairie-type 12-foot McCormick Deering, specially designed and built by International Harvester for all you dyed-in-the-wool grain growers who want a large-capacity, high-speed, medium-priced machine that will handle wheat, oats, barley, and in fact, every small grain and seed crop, perfectly in all conditions. Whether the crop is heavy or light, tall or short, straight up or flat on the ground, this combine will get it all and put every last kernel where you want it, right in the grain tank. You've got a good line there, mister. But is there anything really different about this machine? You wait and see, old timer. Just as soon as that machine gets around here, I'll show you some really superior points in combine design. Gosh, have I got a grandstand seat. All right, mister, do your stuff. I'm listening. See that platform auger? That's an open-end auger, turning on heavy-duty, precision-type roller bearings at the outer end. An adjustment allows the auger to be angled up or down toward the inner end according to requirements. So this auger can be set to handle a light crop or a heavy crop with the same efficiency. Another feature is that you can fold the platform and auger up against the side of the machine when passing through gates or moving on the road. But the big advantage of the open end auger is that the grain is delivered to the cylinder heads first in a uniform flow. At no point is there any obstruction to catch and ball up the straw. No binding, winding or tangling. Everything keeps moving along onto the feed conveyor and up to the cylinder without a hitch. That's slick, all right. And it is different. It's better than anything I've ever seen. Okay, mister, that's score one for you. Say, what kind of a newfangled feeder canvas is that? That's the new style rubberized feed conveyor. Strictly weatherproof and practically stretchproof. Troubleproof, too. No buckles, no straps. No straps, no buckles. That's certainly an improvement. That's score two for you, mister. Okay, old timer. Now let's have a look at the cylinder and concave. And I'll show you something else that's different and better. First, take a look at that rub bar cylinder. The eight bars on that cylinder are drop forged and heat treated. And the cylinder turns on two ball bearings. That's high grade construction. Now look at that concave. How's that for size? Mister, I reckon that's the biggest one I ever saw. It comes up high in front and extends almost halfway around the cylinder. Precisely. And that means three things. First, the total threshing surface is greater. Second, the separation begins earlier because it begins right there at the front of the cylinder where the concave starts. And third, there's mighty little grain carried on around with the straw. You uh, couldn't demonstrate that, could you, mister? Why, sure. Look. See where the separation begins? Almost at the instant the heads hit the cylinder. That's good enough for me, mister. It's score three for you. All right. Now we're going to look at the straw rack. Talk about a ringside seat. I've got it. All right, mister. Shoot. Those straw walkers, old timer, are not only four in number. They are mounted on four-way cranks, one at the front and one at the rear. No two walkers are ever together, 
because the four crank throws are spaced at equal intervals around the complete circle of the crankshaft. This design gives maximum agitation to the straw, sidewise as well as endwise, the full length of the rack. It also makes this the best balanced, smoothest running straw rack ever put in a combine. The even distribution of weight and momentum automatically eliminates vibration. Well, what do you say, old timer? I say let's have some grain. Sure, sure puts it through, doesn't it? Boy, what a shaking up that straw is getting. Yes, sir. And all the time the grain is falling through onto the return pan. Well, what do you say now, Bronco Bill? Well, I'll say it's score four for you, mister. But if it's all the same to you, I'd rather ride on the grain conveyor. It's smoother. You'll look a long time before you find a grain conveyor in this machine. There isn't any. What? No grain conveyor? Well, where does the grain go? Jump down and I'll show you. All the grain separated at the concave and that means up to 90% of it drops straight down onto the solid, full-length, pressure-type grain pan and... Full-length grain pan? Now, there's something that should be in any combine. I've always said you can't beat standard pressure construction when it comes to doing a real job of cleaning. The harvester company recognizes the fact, old-timer, and this machine embodies standard pressure principles. The company believes the full-length pan is far superior to the old-style grain conveyor. It has an easy oscillating motion, in contrast to the rattle and bang of the grain conveyor. Less power is required to run it. There is much less wear, and there are no slats or chains to break. It never cracks grain. And it has always had the full approval of experienced threshermen. Do you agree with all that, old-timer? Yes, mister, I do. A hundred percent. And I'll score number five for you right now. All right, old-timer, shift your weight along there and get a knife full of the double-action shoe. A double-shaped shoe, huh? Well, that's another good threshing machine principle. Yes, indeed. Here's a smooth-running, accurately balanced double-action shoe that does a bang-up job of cleaning. How about a little action, mister? Okay. Find the perch, because here we go. When the adjustable chaffer sieve moves one way, the cleaning sieve moves the opposite way. Their weight and distance of travel are so calculated as to balance each other exactly. That eliminates vibration. At the same time, the opposed motion of the two sieves gives maximum agitation to the grain and chaff, assuring the kind of separation and cleaning every thresherman likes to see. Hey, that's swell. The IHC people have really been doing things to combine design, haven't they? Guess I'll have to give you score six on that shoe, mister. I thought you'd like that shoe. Well, doggone it, mister. I like this whole machine. The harvester company has really got something here, and no mistake. Something a lot of us old-timers have been wanting to see. A combination of a real, honest-to-gosh threshing machine and an auger-type grain header. Say, it'd be a pretty sight to see the grain and straw going through this machine all the way from the front end of the back. All right, take a look at this. Well, by the great horn spoon. Look at that, would you? Feed conveyor, cylinder, concave, straw rack, grain pan, shoe, and the grain going through just as natural as life. There you see a real threshing machine in action, old-timer. Look at the percentage of separation at the cylinder. Any grain going up onto the straw rack soon gets shaken down to the grain pan and shoe. That full-length grain pan is what I like to see with the grain moving all the way from the cylinder to the chaffer in a steady stream. And you see how the chaffer sieve and the cleaning sieve are matched up in reciprocal motion? And how the cleaning fan blows the chaff away? And how the tailings find their way into the tailings auger? See the grain dropping through from the chaffer to the cleaning sieve and through that into the auger trough. Well, old-timer, that's the sight you wanted to see, isn't it?
It sure is, mister, exactly. But now, uh, how about the operation of this machine? Any special features? Any number of them, old-timer. But we'll concentrate on three that are outstanding. The operator's platform, the motor, and the grain tank. The operator's platform is high up out of the dust and is quickly and safely reached by means of the long stairway with handrail. From the platform, the operator can see everything that's going on above and below, and merely by turning around can adjust the controls of the motor, which is a regular Farmall H tractor engine developing 24 horsepower. That power plant has been tried and tested in thousands of tractors, and every local McCormick Deering dealer keeps a stock of parts. The motor, like the operator, is well above the dust, and the exhaust pipe is well above the operator. Look at that grain tank. It has both style and capacity. It holds 50 bushels and empties clean without any kicking or sweeping in one minute and a half. Now, what do you say about this machine, old timer? She's a winner, mister. She's my idea of what a combine should be. Hey, did you hear that? I gotta beat it. Hey, but first, I'm gonna watch her start this next round. Well, the Harvester Company has produced something that every old-timer like me will appreciate. A combination of a real honest-to-gosh threshing machine and an auger-type grain header. And what I say is, hooray for IHC!